Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon. It's the battle for Hong Kong. It's a uh, reskin slash redesign of the Pearl of the Orient campaign. It is done by Tarsus, excellent modder. Uh, he's known for his work on ICBM and currently also did Wargame. Um, more about that mod down below in the description. It is based on Ashen Shadows and all of what you need to know to how to install it down below in the description. Just open the Google Doc, go through the steps. It's episode 9, which means a lot of stuff has already happened. But we're not quite done with the Chinese yet. We still have another battle in Yantian, and considering the massive amount of aircraft here, it's probably going to be busy in the skies. That means that, if available, I want to have the F-22 Raptors over there. Those are excellent aircraft. 10,150 meter range with the Dratum, long range air-to-air -air missile, fire and forgets. Exceptional stealth on this aircraft, 70% ECM, and 1100 kilometers per hour. So those will be very useful in taking down all of the stuff that's over there. Let's see what they have, and what else I might need. They... Oh, right! It's that battle. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's been a few days since I recorded episode 8. And episode 9, um, this one, I have to get back into it. They don't have a spawn zone. They have Charlie but they don't have a way to get any aircraft in. So all of those birds, 54 of them, are not going to be capable of joining this fight. My aircraft are probably going to have uh, a pretty easy time picking off theirs, but I have one Thunderbolt and one Strike Eagle. They have 87 tanks. They also have some anti-air, I think. No. No. Okay. Wait. This is a sitting duck. Yes, they have a lot of aircraft, but they can't use them. So, ideally, I would just bring in a massive air, air attack uh, and just strike everything from above. Where are my F-35s? Here, F-35A. These things can just roam free. The Fighting Falcons can roam free. Let's have a nice airstrike. The rest of my forces probably going to be sitting in Xiong because it's the closest air spawn. And some in Shenzhen because it's a plus three. Right. So we shall start with a command unit over there. Ideally, an already deployed command unit, so uh, TACOM, not ideal, but the only other option I'll have is an Abrams. That's a bit expensive for what I have in mind. Now, recon is going to be critical, and uh, ironically, they can't shoot it down, but they can panic it. That would normally be a problem for the helos that I have, but for a recon helo, that doesn't have to be accurate whatsoever. I don't think it's going to be a problem. What I also need to make sure of is that they cannot get Pingu. We can't let them have that. So I'm going to fly over a Black Hawk. If I can find a couple of trees, I can spawn that airborne and make sure that it gets that acceleration bonus there. I could spawn it here. I think it's too close, however. Because they might not have access to anti air, but they will probably have a lot of machine guns pointing upwards. Those are going to make short work of a command helicopter. Or command infantry inside of a helo, if you want to be exact about it. Over here, um, javelin troops probably would be ideal. And I think I can make a sneaky attack from here. I can have a Bradley. And just a lot of cavalry scouts. Which are going to have a very, <laughs> very easy time of it. Engaging every armor unit that is spotted. There, that's 479 points remaining. Let's also put up a command unit here. Just so that I have one. Um, I can still bring in units into Shenzhen when I need to. They might go here and cross that bridge. But I think I'll be able to pick off enough of them there. Now, these Cavalry Scouts are already spotter, so I don't strictly need that Bradley. 
And that allows me to buy some aircraft. Uh, yeah, these. The Fighting Falcons. Why Fighting Falcons? Well, they're clusters. Cluster bombers. And the enemy will be clustered. They will be very close together, at least in the start. It also means that I'll have to require, or I'll have to have another reconnaissance bird here. And, well, they do have a lot of heavy armor. Maybe a few more cavalry scouts deployed in various positions. Like a group there. And a group here. The problem with the cavalry scouts is that they only carry five missiles. So they're going to be empty very quickly. There. Alright, zoom out, get ready, and we're off. Drop off all the command units. Uh, not you, though. And you need to move. You need to go there. There's their armor. Shit, that came in from the south. Drop there. Ah, oh, fuck, I offloaded that. There's the command tank. So this is just a bit of infantry. Yeah, not particularly valuable. This could be a really quick fight. If I can just snipe this command unit. But a cluster bomber is not necessarily ideal for that job. Oh. What? Hold on. What killed that? What killed that? The Bradley. A, a Bradley? What Bradley did I deploy? Was that a Bradley with a command or with a reconnaissance unit? Yeah, it was Cav Scouts Bradley. <laughs> okay. Um, fine. At least this group is no longer capable of attacking because they don't have a command unit. So that was a bit anticlimactic. Now, it is very easy to get rid of all of these groups. Because if I can wipe out the reserve tank regiment in Pingu, everything else that's on the run gets destroyed. So let's proceed to do exactly that. There we go. I don't even have to destroy them, I just have to barge in with a whole bunch of units. And can I call in some more? Not much. I do want to see what the Bonhomme Richard has. Because sometimes you get more forces from that, but not in this mod. Do they have any useful aircraft? JSOs. That's nice. 15 AP. Marine F-35Bs. A-6E Intruder. And ICAP Prowler. Um... One, two, three, oh, hmm. They don't quite have the range. That's the problem. These carrier-borne aircraft are capable of joining or, yeah, jumping up to two sectors because you take two initiative points per sector. So I could just fly them to Sai Kung and then, well, the Naval Sector Sierra. But they will not be able to join into Pingu. The boys over here might... Nope, they can't make it. Not far enough. And I still... Oh, I have a naval encounter here. I also need to get that sorted. Now, that naval encounter... Unfortunately, they won't have air support. We're looking at eight Nox-class ships. A bunch of Su-27s. Haobai with anti-ship missiles. Shantus. Perfectly harmless. And... Oh, that's going to be annoying. These are going to be capable of overwhelming my anti-missile defenses. And I don't really have an answer to that. Is there anything I can call in? The Argonauts. Oh, yes, the Argonauts. Oh, these are going to be super useful. Uh, super Hornets. Navy F-35Cs with a range of 9.5 kilometers. Hornets, again, but different ones. These are anti-tank units. Growlers. Um, ASUW, anti-aircraft, or anti-ship um, planes, and intruders. You guys are very much arriving at the exact time that I need you. This is going to even up the odds, substantially, because now I have planes which can intercept their planes. 
So if I can just make a battle line at some point with potentially the Anzacs, um, definitely not the Rivercraft, but the Type 31, no, not the Type 31, it's the Chamseries and the Schuld, then I should be able to win this one. All right, 1,525 points. They're gonna start there. I'm gonna park one river over there, so I have another plus eight. I don't feel like I really need to defend that. Now the Anzac, by the way, is what most people... No, I was gonna say it's a Congo, but it's not a Congo. What design that they use for that? Is that even a NATO ship? I don't think so. Oh well. Um, let's go with the Anzac ships, because they're perfectly capable of mutual protection. Chamseries has a uh, wall of, hopefully, a powerful enough wall of anti-ship weapons. Or anti-missile defenses, I should say. Air tab. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need Super Hornets to keep the skies clear. And then... These ASUWs are going to go after their shipping. And maybe... Uh, these are not that great. Schultz are what? 80 points? Oh, 55! Oh. I can afford that. There. Alright, I want... You not to fire... No, sorry, you can fire ESSM, but not your harpoon. Not your harpoon, not your harpoon, not your harpoon. Uh, two Super Hornets on patrol. ASUWs. Target the Nox. Just move towards Bawan first. And then flank. So turn right. Oh, there's a, an isolated Nox over there. Excellent. Easy pickings. No, it's not that isolated. Engage. I'm going to call in the additional shields. Turn your weapons off. Line up. That's going to hurt. Sufficiently. Other air units. JDAMs are not particularly useful against ships, I think. But I'm willing to test one. Uh, just drop one on the Nox and see what happens. Jeez, are these really that slow? Oh, that is a thousand kilometers an hour. Okay, doesn't feel like it. Can you even drop on a ship? I'm making an attack run. Uh, yes, you can. Yep, there go the JDAMs. Whoa, is that supposed to be accurate or something? Oh. Well, oh, it splashed them. But that's about it. Oh shit, there goes an Anzac. Chancery screen. Reorient. Oh. <laughs> that's uncomfortable. Um, yeah, we're gonna engage. This is gonna come at an expense to the Chancery's. A big one. Ah, oh, crap, you're not in range yet. Hold. I need more chamseries here, quick. Uh, what other aircraft do I have? There goes some more chamseries. Growler. Meh. Nope, these are not targetable. That's what I need the Type 31s for. Go for a resupply. I want another... Oh shit, that's the wrong Hornet. I should call in a Super Hornet. Keep an air patrol going. There, we killed one 15-point ship. Congratulations. And another? You know what? This one, the Hornet, might be useful against some of these. Oh, here comes a Nox. Let's uh, dissuade that guy from coming in any closer. Boom. Hornet? Really? 
I just skipped right over the ship. Next target. I should take that one out. They also have one going on over there, but it seems to be solo, so I should be able to take that one out fairly safely. I can probably do that with Pumas. Super Pumas. Just uh, form an orderly line, and we'll be right with you. What? Oh, they're countercapping it. Weapons off. Is that another Nox? Yeah, they got two of them. Right. At least they haven't used their aircraft yet. That was a real concern of mine. Oh no. The rest of the Super Pumas came in from a different vector. Different spawn zone. This is probably not going to overwhelm that Nox's defenses. Well, mostly. But that's all the missiles that I had. Uh, no, I need to come in from over here. We're gonna take down that Nox over there. Quickly. Quick, they don't have that, that many of them. But I have nothing else that can take out that Nox over there. Right, you fire two missiles each. Shit, there goes the river. I'm gonna split my missiles. Hopefully killing both. Got one, got two. Well done. You might want to go somewhere. Ah, oh, my airfield's full. Great. If you can launch your missiles, do it. Although it probably will get intercepted. Oh, or not. Super Hornets, got a mission for you. That's going to be very dead very soon. Yep. River's dead. Sorry about the camera stuff, but the game has a tendency to fully zoom out. This group already did battle once and brought in a captured Muna. Let's target the Shantu. That F-35 takes forever to rearm. Just to... Hmm... You'd think it wouldn't be that bad, but apparently loading a couple of JDAMs on a plane is really hard. Oh, careful now. That's one. Oh, shit. You're one sneaky guy, aren't you? Was. No kill. There's another Haobai. Type 31s are getting intercepted, but not enough of them. The Brimstone 2s. There goes another one. Most of these guys are out of ammo. Let's speed this up a little, because I'm basically waiting for resupplies. Uh, I can send these helos to go after that Nox. Hello. <laughs> I want that Muna. Oh crap, you guys launched. Great. You should have had your weapons turned off, and this is exactly what I deserve. Boom, boom. Next. Catch that Muna, kill the Shantu. Out of the way. I have places to be and ships to capture. Yeah, that's faster. Get rid of it. Capture it and bring it back. Got it. Uh, we're going to use that ammo to immediately resupply the Type 31s. What's that Shantu doing over there? You spawned in Bao Wan, didn't you? Really? Oh, that should kill it. There we go. Right. Time to kill off that Nox. Hold on a moment, gentlemen. 
I didn't lose a ship there? That's unexpected. I thought that was going to overwhelm the missile defenses, but it didn't. That's really good. Alright, so there should be another Nox somewhere over there. The plan is to have the Super Pumas all resupplied. Check. 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 You guys can form up in a group. You guys can move out. Line up. Naval battles are really not what I enjoy most about these campaigns. It's dealing with the battle groups. So I'm really hoping that after this campaign is complete, which could really be very soon, I'm going to be capable of uh, finding another one to play. There's the Nox. Catch that, Muna. Ooh, this one's empty. Alright. Come on. <laughs> no, you're not going anywhere. Get back here. Get back here. Thank you. Off you go. Oh shit, there's a Hubai. No, 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 no. No. Get out. Thank you. I'll just have the uh, CF-18s take out that ship. And that should conclude the Japanese, or sorry, the Chinese naval, uh, naval power, the naval battle. Oh, what? Shit, those things are apparently really sneaky and capable of very much surprising me. Hmm. Can we land here? Get the Muna over there, get the Chamsus over there. Just drop a couple of JDAMs on top of that Nox. It's already taken heavy damage. It might be sufficient. Land, people. Land, 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 land. Bombs away. I think it hit him. But beyond being worried, it didn't really do much. Your anti airplane range is 2800. I can fire missiles at 4700. That might be enough to kill it then. Let's try that. When it comes in, launches one, launches. <laughs> okay. Was not expecting that. Um, this, however, was not a battle where my own naval group escaped completely unharmed. Because I lost an Anzac, a river, and a whole swarm of Chamseries and a Super Puma. Still, 330 points lost for 1450 points killed, and the whole naval attack squadron is dead. Okay, well, here we go. Pingu. It's one of their main zones, and that means that they will also, um, if I kill it, lose all of their air power. That's my objective. Make sure they have no further air power. They're going to send in some high-value tanks, a bunch of mediums, and some cheap stuff. Various infantry. Fortunately, not on the high-end transports, although the Zanshi with the ZBD-05 is... Eh. It's not great. They could pose a threat. I have 28 infantry units, 22 support units, 22 tank units, and 35 recon units. Hmm. It's pretty risky. It's pretty risky. It might be doable, but it's pretty risky. Can I even the odds any more? Because I don't think I call in anything else that's going to arrive there in time. Because the Gorkas cannot get there. The Hong Kong rebels can get there. I can spawn them in and then rush them over, but that really doesn't get me a whole lot of, let's say, valuable material. <laughs> Still, I want to do this fight because it's one that I actually feel a bit insecure about. So it should make for more interesting gameplay.
Right, Shenzhen and Yanqian are mine. They have Bao Wan. And uh, that's it. I could have waited, by the way, I know that. I could have waited and thereby actually have my own units come in, my tanks. But I decided not to. Because if I had the tanks come in, it would have meant that I had something else come in as well, which was all of their air power. And right now they don't have access to that. Holding these sectors, though? Oof. Because they can just spawn everything and their mother on Bawan or Delta or Foxtrot. And if I have infantry in here, it's going to get overwhelmed instantly. So I'm probably going to have to fight a bit more of a standoff battle. Using the longer range vehicles that I have, such as the Namaka. Um, I have the Spikes. And I have very little else. Yeah, I got some helos. Literally some in the form of only two. Ooh. This might even be tougher than I had hoped for, actually. All right, plan. Um, just forget about Shenzhen. It's not worth it. Because it's very hard to defend. And I don't have any good close-in infantry. The rebels that I have, they're going to work to ambush anything and everything that goes through here. So anybody that moves through these areas is going to get hit by Type 56 RPGs, which do absolutely jack shit. But the alternative is the National Guard, which really isn't much better. The rest is going to be standoff warfare, ideally from Alpha, using spikes. Um, so we're going to have at least a couple here. Or actually, no, farther back. I'm going to have these woods here, or this line here. Um, this position here, potentially. No. There's this, this ridge line. And that means that anything that sits over there is not going to be capable of looking down much. So we're going to have to do even more standoff warfare. I got one whole PTZ-59. Wow. It's probably the captured stuff from the rebels. Namakas, long-range anti-tank weaponry. Uh, I, I could guess just a whole bunch of armor. Like that. Support units. I wouldn't really know what. Patriots? Just to ensure that I don't get hit by an airstrike. Oh, this is it at the moment. Oh, those got the Dutch voice back. FAV. Um, I will have to defend this flank. It's a good thing for the rebels to do. Just there and there. Oh, hold on a moment. Here come the ZTZ-96s. I'm probably going to have to pretty carefully micromanage these tanks and make sure that they get prepared when they need it. So these, back to base. Or actually, just that one. You, go home. Forward, forward, forward. No, you go back. PGZs. It's anti-air. Let's assist these guys with some more armor. Uh, these are the Arjun. No. I deployed all the T-72s that I have. That's the problem. Humvee's back. Really? We can't see that? Spikes to there. I need some more reconnaissance here. Also, some more rebels here and here. How are you not dead yet? You're just outside of visual. There. Hold. Kill it. Nope. Lost line of sight. I definitely need another recon unit. Uh, Mutt over there. Assist the T-72s. I'm a bit hesitant about moving into this town. Reason being, I don't know how much infantry they got in there. So I'm assuming they have a lot of it. I'm going to capture that building over there. 
and get some reinforced reconnaissance over there. Oh, here comes the infantry. I want you in those woods, you in the tree line there, and you in the tree line there. You here. And we're going to keep bringing in more reconnaissance unit. Drop off. You by ye, over there and over there. Drop here. Ambush those roads. Contact left. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Smoke up. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Here come the heavy tanks. You guys are alright, hold your position. Just engage. T-72s, no, Arjuns over there. Mutt, move. Oh, this is not great. This is not great. There goes another tank. The PTZ-89 needs to go. I need you to hold your position. This is a lot of armor. It's kind of exactly what I was expecting here. The rebels are going to get butchered. Uh, I need recon marines or rangers over there. Those guys are just as green as my guys are. Give me more armor. Still got these spikes. Uh, I'll follow you guys too soon. Drop off. Recky there. You, here, drop, move. It's all that cheap stuff, right? Yeah. It's really cheap stuff. So, a couple of Arjuns should be more than enough. The Namakas can't quite do it. The spikes are terrible at this range. They're not close-in weapon systems. Well, that was all the... <laughs> all the rebels gone. Do I have any kind of artillery that can help? It's under the vehicle tab currently. No. All those vehicles are under a different battle group. Crap. Firing hellfires at them is a bit expensive. I want you to go here and up there. Uh, super links up to there. Arjun to here. The Rangers with their Carl Gustav M3 can definitely do some damage, but I'm a bit concerned because they're going to get overwhelmed. There. Maybe a bunch of paladins? Come on, start wiping them out. There's another quad stack over there. Fire and maneuver. Those Arjuns can very easily wipe out the, the 69s, but not the other way around. Got it. Smoke rounds coming in. Trying to find the command unit over there. Attack move. It's very kind of them to smoke up my rebels. But I'm not sure how they benefit. How the AI benefits from that. Alright, we're going to push back. Rangers forward. Uh, rebels back. Super links here. Contact. Kill. Shit, I lost an Arjun. I thought I had them. I was wrong. One of them's damaged. You can go back to the front line. Into your unit. That should kill it. <laughs> That's a bit much. Whoa, whoa. Easy on the arty there. Forward. I'm not sure if we killed the CV here. Um, go. Go. Contacts. Hold, 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 hold. Missile, missile, missile. Move away. Yeah, dead. Um, 
Yeah, we'll just have to send a couple more Humvees that way to spot. Open up. Contacts here. Command unit. That's your primary objective. Kill that command unit. You're shaken, fall back, push forward. Yeah, it's an engagement with just one tank. Smoke up. Run. My arty. Can we find the origin? There's the command tank dead. Good. Origin. Farther back. Where? Let's say over there. We're about to get overwhelmed here. Can we resupply them in the field? Yeah, we can. Alright, you in there. You in there. We're gonna move up. I wanna take this position here next. These two tanks are not the same. Oh, hi! Jeez, you guys got close. Ow. Damn it. I'm blinded. Kill it. These Arjuns against this 96s are not a good matchup, because these are more expensive. And at short range, I will win. But one-shotting works both ways. That's my problem. Fall back. One. I need smoke here. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Go. Fast move there, unload, and move your vehicles there. Um, let's see. I want to have a couple more Arjun Mark IIs there. Recon Humvee there. Don't shoot anything. Cease fire. Just try to hit the infantry over there. Lodges are coming in. Very good. You can spot there. If we can use the Namakas, we can shut down a pretty large area. Shit. They're gonna hunt me down there. Ugh. Shell that. Since I have a pretty sizable budget, I can start to use a lot more artillery. It's almost like they know where that Humvee is. I'm gonna give up this position for now. I think it's too fragile. Uh, I still had some spikes here. Get into a Humvee. The problem is that these guys have laser dazzlers and thereby are very potent against helos. So using helicopters against them is not my best play here. Because they will just panic. Shell that. You guys are going to kill any vehicle that moves. Move back, move back, move back. Namakas forward there and there. Um... Most of the infantry I have is dreadful. Stop. There goes another Namako. Fine. Park yourself in that tree line and don't pose too much of a threat. Which Humvees had these go? Arjuns, hold in the tree line. Logi, I need you to fix up that tank. You there and you here. Looks like armor to me. Bigger threat. thing died very, very, very nearly. Oh. It's getting uncomfortable here. Yeah, you need to route, and you need to move forward a bit. And I could really use some more reconnaissance here. Rangers, spot that. Oh, shit. Shell that. Smoke it. All the artillery. You're now one battery. Congratulations. Shoot that. Another Arjun has died. Oh, 
I guess it's going to be down to the rangers to take it out again. That was not a hit. Yeah, they killed another. Come on. You got a lot of armor there, don't you? There we go. Oh, shit, that's the spikes. I'm not playing this as well as I should. Stop. Try to assist the rangers. Reinforce recon. I need to try and find their command unit. If I can stop the flow from bow one, then that would help. Also because it's a plus four for them. And at the same time, they will sh well continuously bring in units there. But it's going to be tricky to stop that. PTZ 89s, 23 armor pierce. That's a lot of firepower you got there. Shell that road. Supercat Jackals also have a missile, the Javelin. These guys have auto cannons. Both are very tempting. There we go, well done. You guys are going to get a hammer as a reward. Kill that, if you can. Yeah, that thing's properly stunned. Ooh, there goes the Namaka. Let that PTZ come in. Because I don't know... It doesn't have a stabilizer. It cannot fire on the move. That's our advantage. I can just sit here and let that thing roll into range. Fire. Damn it! Thank you. Rangers, um... Either get ready or bend over, because it's about to get pretty uncomfortable in there. We're just going to have to use Marine Force Recon here as a combat unit. Smoke up or shoot. Come on. No, I cannot win that. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Got him. Namakas to here. One group of rangers has died. Shit. I need more force recon. These guys cannot take on a tank. Smoke. Come on, resupply the spikes. Quick. You're still... Ah! You're still out of range. Go. There we are. Oh shit, there's a whole lot more here. Oof! Rangers are down to two. Arjun, fall back. Get out of your vehicles. These should be capable of wiping out that tank very quickly. At least you'd think so. There we go. They're ki getting killed off soon as well. Drop. Fall back. I need that tank out of the way. Shit. Let me get out. Operations here. Uh, proceed to this building. Oh. That was some friendly fire. That was not quite the angle that I was hoping for. That just wiped out a couple of yeah, Marine Force Recon guys. Shit. I didn't have that many to begin with. The Rangers are all dead. See, so yeah, I have a lot of points, but not much to spend it on. What? Oh, great. Shell that. You can hit that with a spike? Oh, they do high explosive damage too. Fall back. 
hold back. I now know where they are. Their artillery can kill them off. Command of mortar units. I don't think I'm going to win this one, actually. Although there is something else that I could try. That's a less elegant solution. It's just sort of scattering the area. With artillery. Unfortunately, it's going to be one salvo only because my fobs drained. But I fortunately still have 15 of those. A couple of captured uh, 250s and two wizens. So it might just work. You're too heavily damaged to fall back. Um, you guys have javelins. Use them. How are you guys not dead? Oh, because you started moving. Quick. The only advantage we have is that they don't have a visual. They don't have a spotter. Thank you, Tuba Cats. Well done. You get fixed. Get fixed. Uh, two, three, four. Still got rebels over there, but I don't need to deflank, defend that flank too much. Kill that one. Um, two, three, four. That's all my high mars. Oh great! Kill. Good work. There's the uh, surviving. Was the surviving group? Here goes the high mars. That was it. That was all the missiles I have. These are out. Here comes the ZBL. He just set up a sort of makeshift resupply network. Missiles? Yeah, great. Milyutkas. Don't kill my... Ooh. Recon. The Arjun just saved it using a trophy system. You guys have javelins. You guys have javelins. Congratulations, you're now an anti-tank group. Oh, good lord. That's a bit more than I was hoping to find. I hope that the Artie can do something about that. Because 10 force recon guys over here is not quite going to do it. This Arjun also needs to get repaired. Get over there. Hello. That's a higher end one. That's a 130. Oh no. One down. One Marine Force Recon team dead. Don't fucking snipe it. Use the S-Roll. Thank you. There. More, more Marine Force Reconnaissance. Don't snipe it. They're trying to snipe tanks with their Barrett, but these are far more effective. Oh, okay. What the fuck? That is false for us. Right, so that's what you're playing at. That's how my infantry keeps dying in those woods. Because they're capable of launching phosphorus. And with that, your infantry not only gets smoked up, but just dies. It burns. Gentlemen, get out. There's more units. Come on, get the javelins on there. That's a 99A2, got it. Well done. Kill. These have limited reconnaissance bomb on their own. What? I'll take it. There, napalm. Ah, oh, crap, we're out of missiles. Run! <laughs> Your standard super cats. You got javelins. Go! Fast is good. 
Because we need those javelins on top of that unit there. The Arjun's trying to do it. But the missiles are getting intercepted. Kill it! Yes! Overwhelmed their missile defenses. Oh, hello. Ah. Stunned. Oh dear. Got it. More Hemets. Reinforced Reconnaissance dead. Anything that is or was in that force is either heavily wounded or dead. Just keep spamming missiles on him. Which are constantly getting loaded <laughs> into the Supercats from the Hemets. Probably gonna need a few more of those. So we keep killing off their heavy armor now. Which is very useful. Now, it's gonna be risky, but I wanna try and capture Alpha. Because this fight is not gonna be won this match. So, oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. What's all this about then? What? What do you mean minimum range? Oh shit! Hold on. These guys are out of their M126 shells. That's how much I've been firing with the Paladins. Or whatever their upgraded variant is. The M2001. Don't. Don't, don't, don't. Use, use the S-Raw. You're dead. Patriots, away. It's time to take things a bit more seriously. Bring in the Apaches. Long go. Kill. That's a 99A2. Panicked. But could still pose a threat. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was painful. <laughs> that was four... <laughs> four hammers that just blew up in my face. I'm surprised the artillery made it out alive. Six shuttle armor, four side armor. That's the only thing that saved those artillery units. Good god, that was painful. I deserve that. <laughs> For not relocating my arty sooner. But, oh no. Apaches are having a field day here. The problem is, they uh, are pretty hungry, guys. Here, just stack all of that there. Nope, you're done. There and go. Longbow. It's a bit excessive to go after five point tanks with a longbow, but at this point, it's just about holding on. There's a 99A2 over there somewhere. There. Kill that. The one time that you want the longbow to double tap. Bingo! Well done. So, 22 points. Whew. This is a long fight. I should have made a separate episode out of this one. Resupplied. Excellent. Back into the fight. The captain and his crew You're up. Aboard. Five more minutes. Just hold on. I think we're now about to find all of their infantry here. Nope. Move. Land. You move to them, not the other way around. Liren. Thankfully, their anti air is either dead or not here. This Arjun is just about dead. 
Can I borrow a helmet here? Go. The more of those ZBDs we can kill, the better. Because there's Zanshi in there. Um, I'm gonna use just two artillery units now. Four minutes. Stop. Repair that tank. Nope. Here's the Zanchi. I have one Arjun and a couple of guys that are completely out of missiles. Fortunately, it's just ZBDs. So that Arjun can do it, but it's about to run out of ammo. Just hold on for three minutes, yeah? That's pretty much all that I need from you. You, resupplied, you can go back to get more. Hold on, what do you want? Oh, wait. Two minutes. Wait, one. Looks like the Chinese are about to kill the super cats. Kill. I still have 4,000 points that I would need to chew through to win, which is definitely not happening. But at least I'm holding on. Ceasefire. 90 seconds. All the supercat jackals are dead. I don't actually mind that much, because at this point, the force marine, or was it marine force recon that I had there is dead too. So it doesn't really matter that much. But it would have been nice to hold on to those, just to take out some of our of their vehicles here. Oh, 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 no, there goes the spike. This was a rough one. Draw. Kills. 6,000 points. Losses? I'm guessing two? Yeah, 2268. Well, it's still a three to one, if I'm being generous. Um, what do they have left? One command unit and another command tank. A whole bunch of infantry. One tank? <laughs> they sent all of their armor to me. And I guess I took it all out. Uh, they still have NTR, but they just have decided not to use it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, so episode 10 is going to be probably another encounter in Pingu. And I'm hoping I can resupply some of the guys over here in Yontian using the port. The campaign is approaching an end, so I do need something else to do after this one. So if you have any other good mods that are workable, then please let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for the next one.